Hey guys, welcome. Some of you welcome back. Latest update, December 2023. This is the F1 Mirage. Previous update, I think they've ruined it a little bit. I'm looking forward to this update and testing. Again, for some of you that don't know me, my videos are based on flight dynamics. I don't care about graphics. I don't care about looking good or anything. I just want to see how it flies. So let's get right into this. I'm going to do several things to test this out. First thing is going to be a full weight takeoff, a max weight takeoff. I'm going to do this the proper way, the way you should. I'm going to increase the EGT temperature. You need that EGT temperature just under the RPM there to be about 680, 700 before you go into the maximum afterburner. Here it is. Okay, now I can just let go of the brakes, put in the afterburner. I'm going to keep it on the center line. Um, it's very hard to keep this on the center line. You have to be very, very light on those feet. The real F1, you probably have a little more control with those feet. But um, in any case, I'm going to just try to keep it on the center line about 140 145 at this max weight I'm gonna rotate now when we rotate this it has to go to 10 degrees you can go more than that because you're gonna get a tail strike so keep it there just keep it there at 10 degrees until it lifts off it's, it lifts off about 220 yeah, it's about accurate for max weight maybe 10 knots a little too fast but but very close for for a simulator so now I'm gonna get those gear up and we're gonna pitch for 13 degrees keep it there at 13 those flaps are going to come up. Look at that airspeed. Once you hit 300, at 300, you can take it out of the afterburner. By the time we take it out of the afterburner, it's going to be about 330, 340. It's going to keep accelerating, but we're going to lower the nose to 10 degrees. And then look back at the scenery. Enjoy it. So as far as takeoff at this time, December 2023, this F1 is performing as, as the real one. Next thing I want to test is turning. This was really where you broke last time. They increased the lift to make sure the landing speed was lower and that kind of threw everything off. The F1 kept doing circles around other airplanes. But this time I'm looking at it and I'm just going to show the graph. This is how I graphed it. I did this pretty quick. Under Mach 0.7, it's very, very close. Above Mach 0.7, 0.75, it keeps going up. It actually should go down sharply. As far as accuracy for uh, under Mach 0.7, 0.75, it's right there. One thing that is a little bit off when you put the flaps down under 300 knots, it does tend to turn about a degree and a half more than it should. Just because those flaps create a lot of drag, so you're not gonna be able to sustain that turn. As far as the instantaneous, that, that goes up to about 18 and a half degrees. Um, that's that's pretty accurate for, for this one. Uh, Mirage 3, the delta wing will go up to 22, 20, 22. Because this is not a delta wing, it's not going to have that instantaneous turn. So that 18.6 maximum is pretty good, and then you can see it fall down. So, But overall, it's much, much improved from what it was uh, a few days ago. Now, one thing I do want to mention that was added here, and this made it much harder, is when you get to a high angle of attack, when you're getting to that max high angle of attack, the Mirage, Mirage 3 and F1 as well, has this tendency to have the nose pitch up. So I'm going to show you that right now. Um, as I'm pulling, anytime you pull too much, and that AOA is high, that nose is going to kind of pitch up. Now, the way they did it here, it's actually a little bit slower than what happens in real life, but it's there. It's a good representation of what happens in, in real life. So as we're pulling here, you can see that nose is starting to pitch up. Uh, if you fought this one before, if you fought with this F1 before, and now you're going to go fight in it again, I'm going to advise you to stay above 300 knots and, and don't go to maximum angle of attack because you that nose will go up on you. So as far as what the RGs did with the F1 so far, it is it is a very, very good representation of the real one. And I'm not going to do a thorough test on this one. I'm just going to spot test it. One more thing I wanted to check was the maximum Gs pulled at, at 15,000 feet at uh, 400 knots. This will kind of give me an idea of how it performs at higher altitudes. At 15,000 feet, Mirage 3, it will pull about 7 Gs max. Now, if I do it with this one, you get about 6.7, 6.8, which is very, very close to the real one. And that, and that nose pitches up. That's, uh, that's the Mirage thing that we, we saw earlier. So the spot check at 15,000 feet is, is accurate. 
All right, and the last thing I want to show here is just the landing. Last time they kept the landing very good. They made it actually very accurate. I would just wanted to make sure that after the changes they maintained it right here. I'm just about mid-weight. The approach speed should be about 160, 165, uh, but I'm doing 170. Again, this is how you land a Mirage. This is what you want. You want that pitch up about 5 to 6 degrees. Here it's about 7 to 8, about a degree off. AOA is about 9 to 10 degrees, 10 degrees is what you're looking for in that final, and your throttle is set to about 73, 7400 RPM. You set it here, that Mirage should fly right down all the way to the ground, and it's doing that. I haven't changed anything, I've just kept it right here and it's flown all the way down. It's the minor flare because you can't go more than uh, 10 or 11 degrees pitch up, you'll get a tail strike, and then just try to maintain it on the center line. Overall, what RG's did, it's a very, very good improvement. I'm actually very, very happy with this F1, and I'm glad it's back. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked it. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon.